You know, if there's one thing this channel becomes known for, I hope it's my hyperfixation of crossover media. As I've stated beforehand, I love collaborations. Like seriously, I eat this stuff up like a certain illegal substance that I'm not really at liberty to name. And with a game like Fortnite, you have a lot of material to work with. So much so, in fact, that it can get overwhelming at times. You got Star Wars, DC Comics, Marvel, Dragon Ball, Ghostbusters, Alien, Predator, Terminator, Rick and Morty, and Travis Scott. You name the franchise, and Fortnite probably has it. Because of how hard the game has leaned into collaborations in recent years, it's no surprise that some crossovers overtake others in the spotlight. Like, seriously. How many people know about the Tron collaboration in comparison to something like, I don't know, the Dragon Ball Z collab? Some collaborations are so obscure that they don't even exist in the game as skins, but rather as other miscellaneous cosmetics. I'm talking about cosmetics like backplings and emotes. Fortnite has a pretty decent amount of what I'm going to refer to as semi-crossovers. I'd define a semi-crossover as a collaboration that exists in Fortnite as anything other than a skin. From things as small as emoticons and sprays to more bigger projects like creative mode maps, as long as a franchise doesn't have skin representation, then it counts as a semi-crossover. But what if they did have representation? My dear viewers, that's what I intend to find out today. I'm going to be taking a look at three of the most noteworthy semi-crossovers in Fortnite history to determine what series they represent, as well as whether or not said series could get more representation in the form of a character skin. But before that begins, I just want to let you guys know that I plan on making a video where I rank my subscribers' bootleg locker combos. If you'd like to be featured in that video, join my Discord server using the link in the description. I'll be accepting submissions from now until a week after this very video is posted. So again, if you want to get in on that, join my Discord server, I'd love to see you there. But with that out of the way, let's get this video started with our first Fortnite semi-crossover. The Reaper Showtime Icon Series emote was first added to the item shop on February 12th, 2024. The emote sees the player taking out a Crimson Scythe, where they'll then strut around with it. Now, as you probably summarized from the intro to this section, this emote and the song that accompanies it originates from the Amazon Prime animated series Has Been Hotel. The song, titled Insane, was created by YouTubers and musicians Black Griffin and Basic, and was originally released back when the show was nothing more than just an indie animation on YouTube. I would play it here, but I'm fairly certain doing so would get the video copyright claimed, so I'll just leave a link to it in the description. You know, I should probably preface this and tell you guys that I don't know a whole hell of a lot about uh, Has Been Hotel. I know there's a lot of swearing and beatboxing, but other than that, I'm a bit of an outsider. That being said, I was still able to put two and two together when I saw this emote for the first time in the item shop. And let me tell you, I kind of freaked out a bit. Like it was just so out of nowhere, you know? Fortnite doesn't typically collaborate with indie titles as much as they should, so to just randomly stumble across this in the item shop was like getting flashbanged. Now, Despite the fact that this emote wears its inspiration on its sleeve, this is technically not a has-been hotel crossover. Black Griffin explained in a tweet that the emote is not quote-unquote officially affiliated with has-been hotel. And I think this has to do with the fact that the song that plays was, originally, nothing more than just a fan project before it was noticed by has-been hotel creator VivZpop. But like, come on now. Nobody's being fooled here. This emote wouldn't exist if it weren't for the fact that the song accompanying it was created in tribute to the Has Been Hotel series. That tweet that Black Griffin made also mentioned that if the emote were to get popular, the chances of an official Has Been Hotel crossover with Fortnite would greatly increase. Which segues perfectly into the speculation side of this video. So. If a proper has-been hotel collaboration were to happen, I think it's safe to assume that the characters Charlie and Alistair would be added. Charlie because she's, well, you know, the main character, and Alistair since he's the inspiration behind this emote. I'd also suggest the addition of Vaggy, Vaggy? Is that really her name? Or am I just saying it wrong? Anyways, maybe also Angel Dust? 
It might be a little more difficult to secure a spot for Angel Dust given their raunchiness, but so long as they don't include any graphic imagery with them, then I think it should be fine. But that's going to do it for the Reaper Showtime emote, as well as the discussion surrounding Hasbin Hotel in Fortnite. Which uh, reminds me, please don't turn my comments section into a war zone. Anyways, the next batch of cosmetics we're going to be looking at were all created in collaboration with the company Bandai Namco. I'm of course talking about... Is that Pac-Man? No, <laughs> <laughs> What the f*** just happened? What, what the f*** is happening? <laughs> <laughs> June 2nd, 2022 saw the inclusion of two Pac-Man related cosmetics in the form of the Pac-Man back bling and Pac-Brained emote. Let's first go over the Pac-Man back bling, which, well, features Pac-Man. I, I really shouldn't have to explain this to you guys. I mean, it's, it, it's Pac-Man. You get it. This is a reactive back bling, and as such, features the titular Pac-Man chopping his jaw up and down. A cool thing to note about the back bling is that you can change the direction Pac-Man faces simply by either moving left or right. The sprite of the character can also be seen glitching out should you receive any damage from enemy players. But that's still not all. The Pac-Man back bling also has four additional styles to select from, those being the ghost Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde from the original game. Much like the Pac-Man style, the ghost will face a different direction depending on which way you're walking. Unlike the Pac-Man style, however, they have the ability to also face up and down. The ghost will turn blue when taking damage, and they'll also transform into a pair of eyes should you be knocked down. That's going to do it for the Pac-Man back bling, so let's take a quick look at the emote that dropped alongside it. The Pac-Brained emote sees the player playing a match of Pac-Man, complete with classic music and sound effects. Eco-eyed viewers will be able to spot that the maze used in the emote is significantly smaller than the one found in the original game. No doubt a compromise made by the Fortnite devs in regards to the player's hitboxes. And that's going to do it for the Pac-Man related cosmetics in Fortnite. Overall, I'm a really big fan of how faithful and in-depth the Pac-Man back bling is. Epic could have just added in a holographic Pac-Man sprite as a back bling and they could have called it a day, but instead they went out of their way to include little details, like the direction the character is facing and reactive damage states. Good stuff all around. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how a character like Pac-Man could ever be added into the game as a fully fledged skin. After all, the character is pretty small compared to most human characters. Not to mention his proportions clearly don't match that of a typical Fortnite skin. Well, thankfully, Bandai Namco already figured out a solution for this dilemma like a decade ago. Back in 2022, the crossover fighting game Street Fighter X Tekken was released, which, as the name suggests, saw the two fighting game franchises crossing over with one another. For whatever reason, Pac-Man was added to this game in the form of DLC, alongside a very ugly looking Mega Man. Pac-Man notably operated a mech based on the Tekken fighter Makujin in this game, again for whatever reason. Should Pac-Man ever be added in as a playable Fortnite skin, I think this would be the perfect workaround for his small stature and proportions. Before we move on to the next section of this video, I wanted to quickly highlight another Bandai Namco property that was turned into a Fortnite cosmetic. The Galaxian emote looks and acts much like the Pac-Brained emote, only this time the player boots up and plays the 1970s arcade game Galaxian. Pretty simple to grasp. I don't think there's any actual characters in the Galaxian games, so the chances of them getting a more significant crossover skin are pretty slim. At most, I can maybe see one of the Galaxian ships being added in as a glider, but that's about it. The next semi-crossover we're going to be looking at is really, really strange. It may seem pretty self-explanatory at a glance, but I can assure you it quickly devolves into one of the most interesting instances of cut Fortnite content. So did you guys know that the popular British sci-fi television show Doctor Who has crossed over with Fortnite before? No? Well, I honestly don't blame you seeing as how only one Doctor Who themed cosmetic exists in the game. 
literally just one, and it comes in the form of the TARDIS spray. The spray could be obtained by entering a redeemable code from March 17th to March 24th, 2022. It only had a limited amount of uses, about 5 million in total. I was lucky enough to snag this spray for myself, and uh, yep, that sure is the TARDIS. Now, I bet some of you are wondering just how in the hell is this the only Doctor Who collab in Fortnite? It's a pretty big franchise in its own right, and the wacky sci-fi hijinks the series is known for would fit perfectly within Fortnite's own bonkers universe. So, what gives? Well, as I've come to understand it, there were once plans for a massive Doctor Who crossover event. Some of the planned parts of the event included a two-week-long mini-pass akin to the Dragon Ball Z mini-pass, a handful of Doctor Who skins and cosmetics, and an accompanying creative mode map. We first became aware of this information all the way back in April of 2023 thanks to prolific Fortnite leaker iFireMonkey. They would go on to reveal in July that the Doctor Who collab was set to release around either December of that year or January of 2024, as it was apparently delayed in favor of the then upcoming LEGO mode. iFireMonkey wasn't the only leaker with information related to the Doctor Who crossover. According to another leaker known as FNBR Intel, they were able to obtain an early look at the Doctor Who mini pass. As you can clearly see in the picture, a handful of different Doctor Who themed cosmetics were already fully completed, with others still in development. FNBR Intel was also somehow able to dig up concept art created specifically for the event, and as someone who's not a fan of Doctor Who, I couldn't tell you what these things are supposed to be. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, apparently everything I just told you didn't actually happen. Yeah, no, uh, according to one of the Doctor Who showrunners, Russell T. Davis, this whole collaboration and all the screenshots associated with it are made up. When a fan on Instagram asked if Russell could disclose any information related to the Fortnite crossover, he replied that the whole thing was a myth. All right, as I was literally about to render and export this video to upload it, uh, it was basically 100% confirmed that all these Doctor Who leaks and rumors are just 100% a hoax and none of it was actually real the entire time, which is uh, pretty awkward because I just dedicated a whole section of this video to it, and uh, I was going to go over why I thought these leaks were real. So yeah, that's a bit embarrassing. Um, I'll still keep a portion of uh, the Doctor Who like section of this video in the video, but the rest of it I'm just going to delete from the video because it's not relevant anymore. So yeah, that's awkward. Back to the video. One thing's for sure, Doctor Who has a lot of Fortnite potential. So many different versions of the Doctor Who character could be added in as skins. Not to mention other potential cosmetic items like a sonic screwdriver pickaxe, a Dalek back bling, and a TARDIS glider. <sighs> Man, like I said, I'm not even a Doctor Who fan. I still think that this collaboration could have turned out to be really cool. But, with that being said, that's going to do it for the main three subjects of this video. Hey guys, this is Editing Max. I completely forgot that I wanted this section to include four uh, franchises. The fourth one being the Matrix franchise. Because there's quite a number of uh, Matrix-related cosmetics in Fortnite. And for whatever reason, I just forgot about them. Uh, but to quickly go over them, there's the Neo Bullet Time uh, emote. The Trinity's Kick emote. The Ones and Zero uh, Rap and the Sentinel Glider. I guess we don't technically need a Neo skin since we already have John Wick, but I mean, I still would prefer if they actually included characters like Neo and Trinity and Morpheus into the game, but that's whatever. So yeah, uh, on with the video. But before it ends, I just wanted to take a quick moment to highlight a handful of smaller semi-crossovers that didn't have that much substance behind them to dedicate an entire portion of this video to. And I can think of no better cosmetics to kick this portion of the video off, quite like the Among Us cosmetics. Don't be sus. They, they came to me and said, alright, we can do this one. <laughs> well, we're doing the imposter Anyways, sus. Uh... Come on, yes. Jeff. I really don't think I need to go into much detail regarding this crossover. As I'd argue, it stands as one of the most infamous collaborations in Fortnite's history. Or at least it was at the time. The crewmate backbling was added to the game on June 18th, 
2022 as a way to promote Among Us being added to the Epic Games Store. The Crewmate Backbling comes with a ton of different selectable colors, on top of it reacting to both player movement and getting knocked down. On top of the Crewmate Backbling, the Distraction Dance, made famous by the Henry Stickman games, was also bundled in as an emote. It's really hard to overstate just how monumental the Among Us collaboration was at the time. A lot of people, myself included, thought that there was no way these two franchises would ever collaborate with each other. Not after Epic Games screwed over the Among Us devs by creating the Imposters LTM. It's nice to see that Epic and Inner Sloth eventually made up and came to a mutually beneficial agreement. I wouldn't expect a proper Among Us skin to be added to the game though, given the proportions of the crewmates. Not to mention the fact that they don't have any visible arms, which would definitely mess with the player's hitboxes. But then again, maybe this is kind of like a Pac-Man uh, scenario, where you just need to give the crewmates, like, a mech. Then they can be in the game that way. A lot of cosmetics based on famous artists have been added to the game over the years, so let's quickly list some of them off. Two backblings based on the graffiti artists, however you say that. Jean-Michel Basquiat were added to the game on April 11th, 2022. This honestly might take the cake for the most random collaboration Fortnite has ever done, but I still think it's neat regardless. Next up, the song It Was All A Dream by rapper Biggie Smalls was added as a lobby track on July 3rd, 2022. I'm hoping one day they make it so that you can play the song in Fortnite Festival. Sticking with the theme of musicians, the band Radiohead used Fortnite to promote their album Kid Amnesia by giving players a free lobby track and loading screen. Let's see, what else, what else? Uh, oh, there's that one collaboration with Monopoly. That one brought with it eight backplings that took on the form of the Monopoly player pieces. Monopoly Man and Fortnite win. And last but not least, there's the legendary One Piece collaboration. Oh, you, you didn't know? Yeah, One Piece and Fortnite have collaborated before. In the form of a creative map. Yep, to promote the release of the One Piece live-action Netflix show, a special creative mode map set in the world of One Piece was created for Fortnite players to explore. I can't tell you if the map was good or bad, because I didn't play it. What I can tell you is that people were pissed. Hearing the words One Piece, Officially, and Fortnite all in one sentence gave off the impression that a proper big budget collaboration was happening. To find out that wasn't the case must have stung really hard for One Piece fans. Though I'm sure most of you have heard the rumors regarding a potential One Piece collaboration that's supposed to happen this season. If those rumors turn out to be true, then this whole Netflix creative mode map incident will end up as nothing more than just a footnote in Fortnite's collaboration history. And I think that's all I have to say on the topic, so I'm gonna bring this video to a close. Thank you a ton for making it to the end of the video. It truly helps out a lot. If you want to be in the upcoming bootleg skin combos video, join my Discord server and show me your best looking bootlegs. Like I mentioned at the beginning, the deadline is a week after this video goes up. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. You can support me by checking out my socials and by using my creator code in the item shop. Uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>